Friends, one and all, welcome to our chapel here at St. Paul Seminary uh, here in Pittsburgh. At this very moment, we join together with uh, Archbishop Jose Gomez, the Archbishop of Los Angeles, and the President of the National Conference of Catholic Bishops in our own country, together with every one of the bishops in all 197 of our dioceses, as we participate in the renewal of the consecration of the United States of America to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We join together at this very moment as well with all of our, our brother bishops and all the faithful of all of the dioceses in, in Canada, uh, as they too uh, participate in this renewal of consecration of their own country to our Blessed Lady. And so, at this very tender time, uh, when we know how much we really need God's ear and the love of His heart, we come to uh, the, the Blessed Mother of His Son, as we offer our praise to God in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. When our risen Lord appeared to his disciples on Easter Sunday, he said, Peace be with you. We can be confident that he desires this same peace for all the members of his body, the Church, and for the people of the entire world. In this difficult time, we turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church and Queen of Peace, to ask that she intercede with her son for all those who are affected in any way by this pandemic. As we renew the consecration of our country and of ourselves to the mother of the God, we implore her maternal care for her children. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your Church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It was uh, just three weeks ago today, uh, at this very time, and we gathered together, uh, and what was on our minds was a deep appreciation for all that Jesus did for us on the cross of Calvary. And during that meditation, we had an opportunity to think about and reflect upon those seven last words of Jesus. The gospel that we've just heard proclaimed to us focuses on one of the most tender moments that Jesus looked down and saw two of the most important people in his life, his dear mother Mary, his best friend John, and how beautiful that he showed his care and love for them by entrusting them to care for and love each other. In a very special way, Mary does that for all of us. Embodied in the, in the Apostle John is in fact the church, all of us faithful followers of Jesus. And how much comfort that we have, especially in this difficult time, 
to know that Mary is in fact our dear mother. And the same heartfelt love which she shared with John, the best friend of her son, she now shares with all of us. We now, with gratitude in our hearts, but also with full dependence upon our God's love with the intercession of our dear Blessed Lady, now pray the fifth sorrowful mystery of the Most Holy Rosary. Our Father, who Ooh. art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, into the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us now entrust our country and ourselves once again to the Virgin Mary's care. Most Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, you are the fairest fruit of God's redeeming love. You sing of the Father's mercy and accompany us with the Mother's love. In this time of pandemic, we come to you, our sign of sure hope and comfort. Today, we renew the act of consecration and entrustment, entrustment carried out by those who have gone before us. With the love of a mother and a handmaid, embrace this Diocese of Pittsburgh, which we entrust and consecrate once again to you, together with ourselves and our families. In a special way, we commend to you those particularly in need of your maternal care. 
Mary, health of the sick. Sign of health, of healing, and of divine hope for the sick, we entrust to you all who are infected with the coronavirus. Mother, M Mary, mother of consolation, who console with the mother's love all who turn to you, we entrust you and trust to you all those who have lost loved ones in the pandemic. Mary, help of Christians, who come to our rescue in every trial, we entrust to your loving protection all caregivers. Mary, Queen and Mother of Mercy, who embrace all those who call upon your help in their distress, we entrust to you all who are suffering in any way from the pandemic. Mary, Seed of Wisdom, who were so wonderfully filled with the light of truth, we entrust to you all who are working to find a cure to this pandemic. M Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, who gave yourself wholeheartedly to God's plan for the renewing of all things in Christ, we entrust to you all leaders and policymakers. Accept with the benevolence of a mother, the act of consecration that we make today with confidence and help us to be your son's instruments for the healing and salvation of our country and the world. Mary, mother of the church, you are enthroned as queen at your son's right hand. We ask your intercession for the needs of our country, that every desire for good may be blessed and strengthened, that faith may be revived and nourished, hope sustained and enlightened, charity awakened and animated. Guide us, we pray, along the path of holiness. Mary, our mother, bring everyone under your protection and entrust everyone to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we conclude this consecration, we ask for the blessing of Almighty God. Let us pray. Bestow the grace of your kindness upon your supplicant people, O Lord, that formed by you, their creator, and restored by you, their sustainer, through your constant action, they may be saved. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Regina Cheney, Laetare, Alleluia. Qui aqua meruristi portare, Alleluia. Resurrexi, Sigurdixi, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.